Recently, business has taken a keen interest in the power of personal narrative as a tool for motivating, team building, and sales excellence. Given the efficacy and the power of narrative, especially in the world of ubiquitous PowerPoint presentations, this makes sense. Business leaders understand that stories may provide a compelling advantage when trying to create high-performance teams, communicate core values, or to motivate a diverse workforce. The most comprehensive application of storytelling to business needs comes from Stephen Denning, a consultant from Australia. Denning studied law and psychology at the University of Sydney, completed some postgraduate education at Oxford, and worked at the World Bank in Southern Africa. He does not have a traditional liberal arts education, but his work on storytelling as a business tool, as distinct from pure entertainment, has gained considerable attention. Denning provides a useful taxonomy of stories with a concerted business purpose. He makes a distinction between a formal presentation, intended largely to convey data, and a story which may have any number of aims. Denning lists seven principal areas for the business narrative, sparking action, communicating who you are, transmitting values, fostering collaboration, taming the grapevine, sharing knowledge, and leading people into the future. The proper use of storytelling can address each of these objectives. In short, he makes a sound case for managers to use the tool of storytelling as a central part of leadership development and team building. Many companies find this a compelling argument and seek consultants who can explain the power of storytelling and help teach managers to harness this skill. For example, Donald Miller, best-selling author and novelist, keenly understands the power of narrative and uses applied rhetoric and narrative theory to provide a practical approach for businesses to build a storyboard and market with greater efficiency. Miller provides a persuasive account of the power of storytelling in digital marketing and business growth and success. Building on the proven power of story, Miller argues that many businesses fail because they do a poor job of creating and disseminating their own story. He thinks every company ought to employ a chief storyteller as part of the marketing team. So as you reflect upon this, a number of questions come to mind. What is your story? What is the company's story? How can these stories help educate, motivate, and inspire?